All right, so this video is on exclusive OR. Now, exclusive OR is similar to an OR gate or OR operator. Uh, there is some differences though. There is a difference. So let's just look at what that difference is. Um, here is the truth table for an exclusive OR right here on the right. So uh, you can see the inputs 0, 0 results in 0, 0, 1 results in 1, 1, 0 results in 1. And the real difference between, the only difference between the truth table of an exclusive OR and the truth table of an OR is right here. 1, 1 will result in 0. Whereas for an OR truth table, it would be 1. Now, <clears throat> let's look at this. C equals A, X or B. You can write it like this. A, this is the XOR symbol, a circle with a plus sign through it. This is what the gate operator looks like. It's an OR symbol, OR gate, OR operator with this curved line before it. And one thing to, it's important with quantum architecture to, to know is that it's an atomic operation. So what you're not doing, you're not doing is saying A, X or B equals C. Okay, that's, that's not how it works. Even though it's written here, it's just for uh, easy to digest. I, I wrote it like that for digestion. Uh, what it really is doing, you're X oring B onto A. And I know that seems trivial, but if let's say you're you're doing some quantum operation and you want to what you're gonna want to do is initialize A to zero first. And then once B becomes available, then you exclusive or B onto A. That's important. Um it'll, it'll become more relevant later. So here is let's see. Uh, here is some notes I wrote, but let's just get into into it. Let's see it in practice, right? So, a exclusive or b. Let's do it with. Uh, let me make this a little smaller. Let's keep the truth table right here. Here's the truth table for exclusive or. So, when it's one and zero, it'll be one. One and one will be zero. One and zero. Be one zero 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 one one and one okay so this is what it looks like to a x or b or when you're x or b onto a you can say it however you want but it, it means the same thing so an easy way to just remember it is with an exclusive OR, if the two inputs are the same, it's zero, everything else, it's one. So one thing that's interesting with uh, exclusive ORs is their role in cryptography. So let's make another column right here. Let's do A, A, XOR, B, XOR, B. Okay. And the thing I want to show with this is that uh, the XOR, the exclusive OR, they reverse each other. They undo each other. So exclusive ORing um, this, if we do another X exclusive OR B onto this, it should result in this, the original input. Let's see. So we're going to X or B. This is a X or B. This is the result here. Now we're going to X or B onto this and we'll see what happens. So we're looking at these two columns, B and C, B and C. Okay. So, uh, zero X or one, just one, one X or zero is one, zero X or one, is one zero x or zero zero one x or one zero 
1, XOR 0, 1, 1, XOR 1, 0, and finally 0, XOR 1 is 1. Now let's see if uh, D and A match. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So that's important to remember is that the X, XORs undo each other. And to put this, uh, just kind of looking down the road, suppose B, let's say, let's say suppose A is an is a message, plain text message, right? And it has these these bits. It's a it's a byte array, or has these bytes. And then let's say B is your key. It's also a byte array. If you performed an exclusive OR onto A. If you, or in other words, if you performed an exclusive OR using your key onto your plain text message, the end result would be it would be encrypted. Now to decrypt this, you would perform another XOR onto this ciphertext with the key, and you would get the plain text result, which is equal to the original plain text. So um, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.